the worst TikTok trends. Dentists around the country are horrified over a new TikTok trend. I hope every single one of them gets arrested. Yes, hopefully, hopefully the Kia one gets in here. Mean you should. The thing people do to get popular on the internet. Yeah, people are dumb. People doing ridiculous things for attention, then look no further than TikTok. There's absolutely no limit to the things TikTokers do for a few seconds of fame. Today, we'll look at some of the worst trends on TikTok, starting from the lighter trends to ones that are just horrible. I'm Visual Venture, and I hope you guys like my new setup, the ice cream licking challenge. In June 2019, what? something happened in a Walmart in Lufkin, Texas that started one of the most disgusting trends on TikTok. A woman and her boyfriend were walking through the store when they stopped by the freezer. As a lady stared at the shelves of ice cream in the freezer, she got a brilliant idea. She grabbed a tube of Bluebell's ice cream, removed the lid, and licked the top of the ice cream. Then while giggling, she put it back as if nothing happened. Messing with the ice cream Ooh. was pretty stupid, but what they did next was even more dumb. Her boyfriend, who had recorded her act, uploaded the video onto social media. It instantly blew up, raking in Why? over 12 million views in just one week. When you pick up some ice cream at the store, you're going to think twice about this after you see this video is going crazy online right now. What kind of psychopathic oh. behavior is this, wrote one person. I'm disgusted. This should be a criminal charge, posted another. Unfortunately, the Lufkin Walmart didn't know which specific container she tampered It's impossible to know. She threw away all their ice cream. Walmart was upset, but no one was more upset than Bluebell, the ice cream company. Bluebell asked yeah. the police to find the woman and bring her to justice. They planned to charge her with food tampering, which could mean up to 20 years behind oh. bars. Surprisingly, some people didn't see her actions as wrong. Instead, how do you not see that as wrong dude it, that is the definition of food tampering it, like you don't know what kind of like you know she could have been sick she could have like done something else com like completely add something you know in her mouth bro that is disgusting they were inspired to copy her. There's she a new concern. Bought it after? Back. No, 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 bro. There's no way she she bought it. There's no way. The following week, many TikTokers recorded themselves tampering with ice cream in stores and posted oh videos. Oh my to god. Called it the ice cream licking challenge. This challenge was as unhygienic as it was ridiculous. It's but like you know uh, ridiculous using It's like sitting here doing doing the uh the uh during COVID where people were licking like door handles and toilet seats. It's so disgusting, bro. People are weird other products on july 3rd a different kind of ice cream challenge began this time it didn't mouthwash ice cream. in a video posted on twitter someone swished mouthwash spat it back into the bottle and put it back on a store shelf within 48 hours the post got over 14 oh million my god views. when the mouthwash video went viral the cops realized they needed to act fast to stop this trend before it affected even more products that is so disgusting man people. Over the next couple of weeks, the authorities tracked down and arrested several TikTokers for food tampering and criminal mischief. And it was easy because they recorded themselves committing the crime. The things people do for fame. One of the culprits, D. Adrian Anderson, was sentenced to 30 days in jail and Deserved. two years probation. What was ironic about D. Adrian's situation was that he actually even purchased the ice cream he tampered with. He even had the receipt to prove it. But that excuse couldn't save him from going to jail. He got charged with criminal mischief. The store had to replace all That is unreal. Cream. Eventually, TikTok and other social media platforms started taking down videos of people participating in this dis- Bro, they should have done that in the beginning they see something like this going like trend dude they need to remove it remove it like it's disgusting no one wants to buy ice cream just to take it home and see a big tongue streak down the middle of it like that is so gross disgusting trend and the challenge faded away while this trend costs thousands in property loss this next one plays with your mind the orange peel test 
TikTok has many relationship challenges. However, one of the most controversial is known as the orange peel theory. The orange peel theory test involves uh, women asking their men for an orange. And in order to pass the test, the man must peel the orange before handing it back to her. In another version what? of the test, women ask their man to peel an orange for them and watch how they respond. If the guy peels the orange, it means he's willing to perform a tiny acts of service, which is a sign that he truly loves his woman. But in case the partner refuses, it means that the relationship is doomed. Oh my God. All right, so I get the whole love language thing, right? But the thing is they take one act and they make it define the entire relationship. A few weeks after this trend began, a TikToker revealed that her ex broke up with her over the orange peel theory. She told her boyfriend about the orange peel test and he thought it was a dumb way to assess a relationship. She disagreed. It led to a big fight and he ended things what? with her. What? Oh, oh yeah, it would have been over. Heartbroken. In a video posted on TikTok, she said, I would like someone who wants to peel an orange for um, me. I wouldn't ask you to. I'd just like to know that you would. Is that too much to ask? Yes, it is too much to ask. You're putting your faith in the like uh, the whole relationship up for an orange. That's so stupid. Video shocked viewers, making them wonder how something as trivial as peeling an orange could end a relationship. <laughs> but she wasn't the only one whose relationship ended because of this test. Another woman on Reddit, a 22 year old, was so disappointed that her boyfriend failed the orange peel test that she broke up with wow. him. She was at home with her boyfriend when she saw the theory on TikTok and decided to try it out. But she didn't have an orange, so she asked her boyfriend to tie her hair for her. Tying her hair was supposed to resemble the act of peeling an orange. She described his response in her reddit post. I asked him to tie my hair up for me and he looked at me and asked me why I couldn't do it. I asked yeah. him again thinking it was just a fluke but he told me I could do it since I was in the kitchen and he needed to relax stating that he just got off work. After he refused the lady decided to break up with him because he failed the test. Oh. She shared her story online many people <laughs> criticized her for throwing away her relationship because of a trend. She defended herself saying I didn't mean to make it seem like like I was testing him like a crazy girlfriend who said that's literally what it is you're, you're testing you're testing him it, like how do you not how do you make this to where it doesn't look like you're testing them like <laughs> that's exactly what you were doing sets up her boyfriend for failure. I simply used the theory to see what he would do and came to the realization that I was giving 90% and he was giving 30% into the relationship. 90-30. Uh, that's, that's a pretty a wonky split if you ask me. As more women tried the test, videos of men peeling or not peeling oranges for their partners got millions of views. I really want orange, but like I don't want to peel it for myself, you know. I really want it, but like I hate peeling it. No flaws, buddy. Go ahead and do her. You're not gonna peel it for me. Do we have any? Yes. What are you doing? Peeling it for you. Like, it, dude, it's so fake. It's so fake. You know, behind the camera, they're over here telling them exactly what to do. Okay. The way this trend started was interesting. A TikTok video showed an iMessage chat between exes who were reminiscing about their past. I miss when you would peel my oranges for me in the morning, the first message said. Did you learn how to do it yet? The ex replied, no, I still get juice all over and stab my nails too deep. The messages went viral on TikTok with people <laughs> saying how thankful they were for having someone who still peels their oranges. TikTokers were taking this way too seriously. A relationship expert warned against the viral test saying an entire intimate relationship can't be boiled down to what a person yeah, does or doesn't like that's do so with dumb. an orange. And I obviously agree. Now this next trend- If you don't agree, a... you don't deserve a relationship. Like, what are you doing? Disrespect. The dancing on graves trend. Oh my February god. In 2021, YouTuber Pegasus saw a TikTok challenge that made him so mad he created an eight minute YouTube video to rant about it. 
take off those sunglasses because you don't even deserve the shade, bro. You ain't cool. You ain't got swag. I don't know when you'll realize what you're doing is wrong and it's not funny at all. The challenge was officially called How is that a challenge? On graves. TikTokers would visit graveyards and film themselves dancing on top of or next to random people's gravestones. Some videos show teenagers doing choreographed routines while others just dance to pop music. No one knows who of the trend, course of course it's the edgy kids he spread as more tiktokers started doing it too most people who watched pegasus's video were just as annoyed as he was they left comments like i feel embarrassed to be part of this generation i hope they go to bed every night cringing at they don't they imagine being at a funeral mourning the loss of a loved one and then out of nowhere a teenager starts <laughs> doing the orange justice and guess what adults were doing it too in one video three people including one adult danced at a cemetery so we have what i assume is a mom and our two kids Mom is all dressed up, you know, boogieing on the tombstone, doing the Fortnite boogie down challenge. There were many more videos of adults <laughs> participating in this trend. People Bro. were pissed, but the trend kept going. A TikToker named Ben danced and sang on a grave implied to belong to the 36th president of the United States. The name on the tombstone was Johnson. Most viewers seeing the name assumed it was Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th. There's no way a president doesn't have it like, uh... Like a, like a crypt. Sixth president of the United States and Ben's videos reached more than 9 million views. Oh on TikTok, my God. Except it wasn't the former president. Ben just found a headstone marked as Johnson and saw his opportunity for low level internet fame. It's actually illegal in most places. YouTubers and social media influencers. People don't care if it's illegal. Against the TikTok trend that TikTok started removing these videos and the trend ended. Now with this next trend, we're going back to more property damage. The Devious Licks trend. On September 1st, 2021, a strange video appeared on TikTok. It showed a teen stealing disposable masks from school. The video went viral quickly, gaining over 200,000 views in For that? one week. The boy Who was excited that? about the success of his video. Little did he know it would trigger one of the worst trends on TikTok. When people watched the video of this kid stealing yeah, imagine. disposable masks, Couldn't be me. inspired others to steal things from their schools. These young, immature, impressionable kids are falling for these selfish trends. This TikTok trend is called Devious Lips. Yeah. It involves Okay, okay, stealing... but listen, listen. Who is really to blame? It's It can't be TikTok. It it all boils down to the parents. It all boils down to the parents, dude. Uh, they're raising L kids, dancing on graves, not peeling oranges, uh, stealing. Like it's just the parents' fault. That's what it is. They they started them off on watching Coco Melon whenever they were like a year old. And this is this is the result. This is a result of Coco Melon school property and posting videos of it. It was called Devious Licks because according to my favorite dictionary, Urban Dictionary, a lick is a successful type of theft. Just six days later, another Devious Lick video appeared online. On September 6, what do you mean by poison? One a TikToker shared a video with the text only a month into school and got this absolute devious lick. In the video, he unzipped his backpack and showed a hand sanitizer dispenser from his school this was only the second devious lick video but it quickly went viral on tiktok getting over 7 million views in two days the trend gained more momentum over the next week as young tiktokers began posting similar videos showing Wait. items they allegedly stole from school and i remember kids are apparently stealing anything even a water fountain how do you even make it out of the school with one of those how do you make it out of the school carrying a water fountain? Seven entire water fountains. Trent's been expelled from school for riding his scooter after hours and stealing a handicapped parking sign from the school. From soap dispensers and fire extinguishers to computers and film projectors. Nah, nah, fire, uh, stealing fire extinguishers is illegal. That's illegal. Like, obviously theft is illegal as well, but that's a safety hazard. 
nothing was too big or too small to be stolen. In British Columbia, 42 soap dispensers <laughs> were ripped out from school bathrooms within a week. One video even showed a student stealing a classmate's <laughs> pants while he was in the bathroom <laughs> stall. School principals across the country beg students <laughs> No, no, no. That is a devious lick, bro. That is a devious lick. How, how is the kid who's getting his pants stolen from him? How is he getting them stolen from him in the first place? Is he taking his pants all the way off to take a deuce, bro? To stop stealing threatening disciplinary action. When that didn't work, they resorted <laughs> to more drastic measures. Since most of the items were stolen from bathrooms, schools across the country started temporarily closing restrooms. And the trend escalated even more from stealing to vandalism. Some schools reported their toilets being sprayed with red food coloring. In Ontario, a bathroom had all its urinals and toilets clogged with enormous amounts of toilet paper. It's so That's sad. just I just wrong, don't understand man. why these children are turning to that kind of vandalism to express themselves. Police across the That's US just wrong. began arresting and charging students. On September 16th, TikTok... Yeah, uh, Red 40 in the toilet. Trend. But this dark story has a happy ending. As the Devious Licks trend ended, a new trend started where students filmed themselves giving back. It was called the Angelic Yield Trend. Oh, and wow. On September 17th... But see, is it really... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Like, they're probably the same people that stole, and then they're just returning what they stole. You know what I mean? When a TikToker made a video showing them going into their school bathroom and putting a roll of toilet paper on the toilet, the on screen text read, I just hit the most angelic yield, while the video caption said, No more devious licks around here. Yeah, video... bro, he's one of the people that were participating and he's just giving back because his mom told him to. Gained over four million. He's a might as well make a TikTok. Days and inspired hundreds of young people to anonymously donate to their schools. Finally, <laughs> a trend I can get behind. They'll leave like scented hand soap on the sinks in the bathrooms, or like they'll put uh, toilet paper, stuff like that. Some girls put inspirational quotes on the doors and. Oh, that's foul, bro. Whoever picks up, whoever picks up that ten dollar bill, that is disgusting. That is disgusting. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That is disgusting. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Walls and placed emergency kits in the bathrooms with sanitary items. This was a remarkable turnaround. The angelic yield trend was a sign of hope for our new generation. So this next trend, I personally There's no a hope. lot because it has to do with shaping our culture. Ix. Have you oh God. really into someone and then they do something that makes you instantly- Not the ick, bro. That, my friends, is called an ick. An ick is a feeling you get when something about the person you're dating suddenly turns you off. It's when attraction turns into disgust. Anything can cause an ick, like using the wrong emoji in a text <laughs> or being rude to a waiter. And TikTokers took it to a whole new level by starting- uh, we have this little pipe thing to channel all the water coming from the st straight to the floor. Oh my god. Yo. You know, the janitors, the janitors don't get paid enough, guys. Like, respect your school janitors, dude. They, they have it the worst. They have it the worst, man. Uh, I wouldn't say the worst, actually. They don't gotta put up with you little shits. So they just gotta clean up after you. Like, it, it's just like, yeah, his life is already hard, bro. Why are you guys making it, like, harder? It's a poor janitor, man. Starting a trend around that gives me the this trend began when a few TikTok users posted videos listing the little things that annoyed them about others. When he takes a nap, it irrationally annoys me. Um, I don't like friendly guys. If I see him friendly with other people, that's a big ick. The trend spread rapidly. Bro, I love... Dude, this dude's still making a list, by the way. I think he's up to like 10,000. He still has the ick list. 
with people from all over the world posting their own icks. If you get out of the car and I can see even a centimeter of your butt crack, you're getting ghosted immediately. One of them is when a guy trauma dumps on you for two hours. Trauma dump? What the hell does that mean? It's when a guy tells you all of his problems. Oh my God. People are taking this too far. So one TikTok account took it upon himself to compile an insane list of these <laughs> women's dating icks. There are 585 oh no. reasons that women apparently do not like you. So the thing that's disgusting to me is the fact that you must get over an ick, right? You have to get over an ick in order to have a good relationship. But the problem is it's tearing relationships apart because of a little, little thing that's so a insignificant. Trend. The type of ix TikTokers were listing showed just how petty and judgmental a society was becoming. When he asks a retailer for help and they don't hear him. When they push a pull door. When the roller coaster worker tightens his seatbelt thing. People who weren't usually judgmental started to become judgmental because of this trend. Like yeah, Tony yeah. tweeted, TikTok has made me realize that ix are really a thing and I have many. Another person wanted ix to apply to friendships too tweeting can confirm friendship icks are 1000 times worse everyone has things to turn them off but we're human right we're not perfect so you gotta get over yourself that. this next trend you are not perfect relationships apart but in a more direct way the cheating prank trend cheating prank one a new type of prank that was way more personal emerged the cheating prank this prank involves someone often a girlfriend tricking her partner into thinking she's cheating on him and then recording his reaction these videos quickly became popular because of the intense reactions of the people being pranked <gasps> In one viral video, a girl said, No, a no jumping jacks right now. Suggested she was cheating on him. The message she sent to her boyfriend read, He's leaving now, you can come over. But her boyfriend's unexpected reaction made the video go viral, earning him the title of online legend. He raced back indoors and ran upstairs to their bedroom. The girl already had the camera set up. As soon as he entered, she said, I thought you were leaving. I was leaving until I saw your cheeky text message. Something about like coming over now. So, um, he's leaving now, you can come over. But instead of being mad or jealous, the boyfriend assigned a different meaning to the message. What? You're calling me a, like a belated birthday surprise me or something. No. Your You're birthday, grinning. Your birthday was over a month ago. Yeah, but it's never too late to celebrate, is it? Even though she insisted that it wasn't true, her boyfriend was convinced that the text message meant she was organizing a surprise party for him. Then he kissed her and headed back out the door. I know you're doing it again. I love you so much. Her boyfriend's response got a lot of likes and positive comments online. But more importantly, it made other girls wonder whether their boyfriends would react the same way. And the only way to know was to try the prank on them. There was an oh explosion of cheating videos on TikTok and each of them were different in their own way. In one video, a guy was acting really shady, pretending to hide another girl in the closet. But when his girlfriend started to get suspicious, she did everything she could to check inside the closet. Yo. I get it. Some of these videos aren't that bad, but there were many other reactions that were dangerous. In yeah, he's video, on his bed, uh, twirling his toes. In another video, a boyfriend pulled out what looked like a pew pew. <laughs> you play too much, bro. This trend caused permanent damage what to some are you doing their next trend it caused permanent damage to themselves the teeth filing challenge oh god when someone starts a video with the words i'm about to do something dumb you know what's coming next is not good that's when a girl named ashlyn said she filmed herself doing uh. the teeth filing challenge this was a bizarre trend where tiktokers posted videos of themselves using nail files to reshape or smoothen their teeth they did this to make their teeth appear straighter or fix uneven edges i'm gonna file my teeth down with a nail file because they are not perfect I have some oh, wow. and we're falling on a budget. 
These videos went viral and soon hundreds of people were doing it. So Ashlyn joined the trend. She set up her camera, grabbed her nail file, and after declaring she was about to do something dumb, went to work. And it obviously didn't end well. I originally used just a nail file and it wasn't working, so I moved to this. It was not painful when I did it, but as the days went on and I would drink cold drinks or ice cream, I felt Oh like yeah, I you're just so stupid. Teeth. Ashlyn had dental problems after filing her teeth because no surprise it's one of the worst things you can do to your teeth yeah, you're you're getting all the enamel off you're you're like filing away the enamel oh my god oh god how dumb how dumb do you have to be when I saw these videos, I almost fell off my chair. The trend started around June 2020 when a 19-year-old named Mia Doe posted a video of herself filing down her uneven teeth using a nail file. Her video was viewed over four I'm not doing it. Times. No, she I'm not a moron. She decided to file her teeth because dentist offices were closed during the pandemic, so she figured she could fix her own teeth. Another TikToker admitted she shaved her teeth because dental care is so expensive. But it was gonna get a whole lot more expensive. As a trend got more popular, dentists made videos to warn people about the risks of messing with their teeth. Dentist Todd Bertman calls the practice horrifying and says it does irreparable yeah. damage to your enamel. Teeth yeah, exactly. Are not like nails, they don't grow back. Filing them down can remove the enamel, oh. which is the hard protective outer layer. Without enamel, teeth can become sensitive and painful and more prone and to decay and infection. Listen, there is no pain like teeth pain, bro. There is no pain that it comes even close to like teeth pain. Oh my God. Infection. You're gonna end up with sensitive teeth, pain, and probably root canals as well. Many TikTokers learned that lesson the hard way. One user who filed her teeth was in so much pain that she had to take painkillers every two hours. It was so bad that her dentist told her that she filed into her nerve and would oh. need a root canal. It eventually took two procedures to fix the problem. Others who tried the challenge posted videos showing that they regret their actions. One person summarized their experience with this tweet. Whatever you do, don't do this. I only did because I'm stupid and was curious just even ashland oh joined forces speaking against the trend saying it's not worth the trouble another terrible dental trend was when people glued fake vampire fangs to their teeth using oh, nail glue oh or yeah super glue another one involved tiktokers applying bleach directly to their teeth to make them whiter and lastly a tiktoker who closed the gaps between his front teeth using rubber bands tiktok is the worst place to get dental advice unless of course you're a dentist my friends out of all the trends so just far, don't this next one is not just don't follow tiktok trends like why why is that so hard to it engrave into your mind like just don't follow them and, and you'll be set you'll be a much happier person i promise you i can make that promise and stay true on that the worst the kia challenge Oh, this one's my favorite. Across America, were complaining on social media about their Kia and Hyundai cars being broken into or stolen. Yeah, this one's However, my favorite. They weren't just blaming the thieves; they were blaming TikTok. But why? The answer is in this Facebook post from one of the victims. On July 25th, Brian Adderd wrote, "The whole world is nuts." I got a call from my daughter. Someone tried to steal her Kia Soul last night, smashed the window, and there's ignition wires all over the place. Then he explained why TikTok was to blame, saying the sick part is this model Kia is part of a TikTok yep. challenge with instructions on how to steal this car using a USB cable and the ignition switch. They failed, but the damage is done. The Kia challenge is definitely one of the most disturbing trends ever. Wait, yeah, this, this is the one I saw. I saw this one. I, I'm so happy that he's blurring it out. But uh, yeah, they were just live streaming this too, by the way. They were live streaming it. And they made, like, five shorts on, like, five different Kias that they jacked. Like, dude, people, people filming themselves committing crimes has got to be the funniest thing in the world. 
TikTok. It began in July 2022 when a TikToker at Robbie Ray posted a video of himself hot wiring a car. People were shocked at how simple the process was. Robbie Ray may have posted the video for educational purposes, but what most people saw was a tutorial on how to see. He did not car. post After it about two weeks for instruct like the education the video and took it down, but it was too late. Thousands of people had seen how to hot wire a car and they wanted to try it out. The key challenge took off. This challenge involved participants recording themselves breaking into cars, yeah. hot wiring them, yeah. and sometimes- Dude, the police have to love TikTok, bro. They, they have to love the internet. People just post themselves doing the stupid shit all the time. Driving them away. Most of the cars that were broken into were Kias, hence the name of the challenge. A woman in Highland Park found out the hard way recently, just a few days ago in broad daylight. Her 2017 Hyundai was stolen where it was parked outside her second job. Tens of thousands of Kias and Hyundais were stolen. I didn't know about the Hyundai. Were stolen twice in one day. Thefts of Kia and Hyundai cars Cars rose by 767% in the Chicago area and in New York thefts increased by nearly 2000%. That's insane. The topic even made it into songs with rappers bragging about stealing Kias, but obviously this came with consequences. Locally, Arlington police say they've made several arrests and stress auto theft in Texas is a felony, which many young people might not realize. And what's sadder is- How do you not know? To the victims. Someone tweeted, having your own car broken into, then you factor in inflation, living paycheck to paycheck. Some people can't afford repairs. I remember a while back, someone broke- Yeah, they, they should definitely be reimbursed by the people that are committing these, these crimes. If they're caught, like you should literally be forced to pay back what you what you cause i mean that's on you it's your responsibility own up to it like n no better way broke into my car in our driveway and the repair cost about like two thousand dollars or something and i was a broke college student it was way too expensive another wrote this trend absolutely makes me feel disgusted it's really beyond me that people think it's okay to post criminal acts yeah, people are dumb participate let them, them keep posting them, them online it's super frustrating, it sounds like. Now I have to be careful where I park and pay attention and it's gonna change where, we'll probably take my wife's car. And... But it was about to get worse for the victims because some insurance companies refused to cover certain Kia and Hyundai models because of the high risk of theft. Yep. Angry car owners eventually sued Kia and Hyundai, arguing that the companies didn't install anti-theft devices in their cars, making them easier to steal. The lawsuit was settled for $200 million. And after intense pressure, TikTok Damn. shut down the Kia challenge. Social media trends can be fun. The internet gives us- I wonder how much of that the people that like own the vehicles got out of it. Like when there's so many people all participating in the same lawsuit, like you're getting like $3 the ability to connect with one another. But my challenge for you is to not let it disconnect us from our humanity. Visual venture. It's too late. It's too late for that. Wait. Yo, W video. W video, man. It's just too late. They're way too comfortable on the internet. That is a fact. Uh, hey. What, 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 like, they're committing the crimes all for you. Taking too long, Shen. Well, of course, yeah. People make people make insane amount of money for for viral videos, and if one video gets viral, then you know they're they're gonna just like keep posting the same content because they can't innovate. They can't come up with something new to try and keep their audience because what they posted was a crime. So it just to me it doesn't make sense. Like why you would want to get like famous is that the word get popular off doing something like this like it, it just it, it doesn't it doesn't connect in my brain i guess i don't know the the last piece of the puzzle is missing